looking for only their second win of the season. Cork made the long trip to Donegal, bidding to move further ahead of Harps in the table, but their stuttering start to the season continued as Quail and McAteer nipped in behind their defence and then stuck it around McNulty. There was only a minute on the watch at this point. And then with their tails up, Harps pushed for a second goal, which would have given themselves some breathing room. Skipper Raf Kritaro set Sean Boyd away. He had options, but he turned inside and his inviting pass was met perfectly by Mark Coyle, who tested the fingertips of McNulty. Less than a quarter of an hour was on the watch at this point. Cork, however, drew level in the 15th minute of the game. McCarthy's corner. DC failed to clear and Shane Griffin was quickest to react and punish the error. 1-1. But Harps, still without a win this season, playing for the second time in five days, were soon back in front. Patient build-up play, Quaylen McAleer turned provider as Mark Coyle dived on an inviting cross and put it beyond McNulty to restore their advantage. But then came a little piece of rebel magic. Colm Horgan's cross not dealt with by the Harps defenders and Garrod Morrissey backed himself in a tight squeeze and finished with a plum. A terrific goal and well worth a second look too. All eyes on the ball and what about that for a finish? Cork, who won on the road in Sligo a fortnight ago, were chasing the game at this point and wasted a number of chances, including this one. Dan Casey had made the long journey up from the back. He got above them all, but was wayward with the header. The visitors, though, were beginning to somewhat dictate the game at this point, as Harps were seemingly happy to sit deep and defend. Sam Todd's headed clearance, though, was pounced upon by Garrow with Morrissey. He shrugged off the challenge of Cotaro and finished wonderfully past the viewing Gallagher between the sticks. Even his teammates were astounded. The 27-year-old had his eye in for sure and two contenders now for goal of the season. Cork at this point were in complete control and Carl Shepherd should have converted Horgan's cross to put the result to bed, but Gallagher produced a reactionary save. Caulfield wanted more, but Shepherd wasn't having the best of nights as a second opportunity went to begging soon afterwards. Cowan's header left the striker onside, but his close control let him down. Graham Cummins tried to force an error, but Harps were having none of it. Cummins would make his mark in the closing stages on the game as he got an inch on Boyle to head home Cork's fourth goal and just what their play had deserved. Harps, however, weren't going to go down without a real fight and played right until the end. DC went on a mazy little run, put in a lovely cross and it came for Cotaro, but his strike wasn't too far away. Not the one that would count. They would eventually get a third goal late on, Harps. Quaylen McAteer's cross invited a shot. McNamee fumbled, though. Cotaro didn't and placed it right into the corner. As their urgency lifted, McNulty wanted to play a little bit of keep ball. There would be no more time, though, for a Harps comeback, as Cork had done enough to edge a seven-goal thriller in Ballybuffet, which will be best remembered for two glorious Garrod Morrissey goals. Full-time, Finn Harps 3, Cork City 4.